let you harbor hatred toward that person. I think you need to practice forgiveness. And it, forgiveness is not easy. I have to forgive sometimes over and over and over again for it finally sinks in. And the Lord understands, yeah, that Dale is forgiven. I've got to forgive people just as God has forgiven me for my sins and the wrongs and things that I have done. And I think he came down number five to show his matchless humility. What more humble way could you enter into a city? You could have had a big team of white horses, a gilded chariot and stuff, and come into Jerusalem. He didn't do that. The lowliest way that he could do is he came down on the back of that donkey. And then we understand in Philippians 2 verse 8, And being found in a fashion of man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even death on the cross. He left us an example of humility. As they, everyone could have said he could have had a big team of horses pull him in. Number six, to arise from the dead. Remember when he has his discourse with Mary and Martha and he says, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. He that liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Believest thou this? He's the resurrection. I, the, they didn't understand resurrections. They hadn't had resurrection. They had resuscitation of three people. Jairus' daughter, the widow's son, uh, Nain, and the nobleman. Three resuscitations, because all three of them turned around and died again. When you have a resurrection, you don't die again. One of these days, I'm going to lay this old body down. I've wore it out the best I can. <laughs> it's not getting much when I lay this body down, and I'll pick up a new body uh, to do that. Uh, in the resurrection. And that's what I'm looking forward to, to following his step. But Jesus says, uh, he was delivered up for our offenses and he was raised up for our justification, Romans 4, 25. And last, I said that the people might know that they could be saved. That's what they were crying out. God saves, God saves. And I always pray, God, give me an opportunity to tell somebody that great gospel story. The gospel being good news. The good news story that someone has already died for your sins, taken your punishment so that you could enjoy eternal life by placing your faith and trust in Him. And now on your notes, and I'll go, go to my conclusion. The greatest truth on earth is found in 1 Corinthians 15, 3. Christ died for our sins according to the Scripture. Sinner, the death is in vain as far as you are con uh, concerned unless you repent of your sins, make a confession of your faith, and be baptized for the remission of your sins that you might receive the gift of the Holy Spirit and follow God's will for your life. Won't you come forward as we stand and sing the invitation?